Department of Physics here at the University of Guelph. And today, we're going to discuss the physics of Spider-Man and Spider-Silk. Spider-Silk, the way that it's actually created by spiders, has this incredible ability of something called toughness. And toughness is the ability of a material to actually absorb energy before it breaks. Whether it's stretched, whether it's compressed, whether it's torn a little bit, that by weight is actually an incredibly strong material. So when you have something like say a car that's being flipped in the air and it's rolling around and Spider-Man wants to swing that out of the way, shooting the web towards it, grabbing it and changing the direction of that momentum, being able to handle that large amount of energy without breaking is actually something that spider silk does. Now spider silk has a tensile strength that's on the order of about a gigapascal or 1 billion newtons per meter squared of that material. According to Marvel, Spider-Man is 5 foot 10 and 167 pounds. So how thick of a piece of spider silk would it actually take to hold Spider-Man up? Well, doing the calculations, you can do this in any of your first year physics courses, likely. You've got the MG acting down, you've got the tension acting up. In reality, in terms of looking at a Spider-Man movie. This thread would be enough to hold up a fully weighted Spider-Man or Spider-Woman, but it was made out of actual spider silk. <laughs> 